Where is Teenage Extreme Fitting today? Miami. Well, what up you guys? My name is Taylor, also known as Teenage Extreme Fitting, and I make videos once a month. So you guys obviously did not see the Miami popping up here, all beautiful and whatnot. Um, because today I'm doing the Strip Down Challenge. Um, I'm not going to stick to how Strip Down Challenge usually is, where it's like 15 or 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just say everything that you guys wanted to know. Um, first thing is first, like, where have I been? Um, why haven't I been doing YouTube? Um, and the answer to both of those questions is... Well, one, I was just drained um, physically, mentally, and emotionally, and also spiritually. Um, people, there are people who could tell. Um, and during the span of a whole entire year, um, there were stuff that um, was taken away from me. Um, things that I loved to do that I wasn't able to do, um, also as well as people. Um, it was hard and like anything in life, whenever you have something that you truly love that's taken away from you, it's really hard. And there are still a few things that are taken away from me that I don't have, um, which I am kind of still like any person like upset, like low, like, yeah, but let me start off by saying physically um there were things that i couldn't do like my body like just could not do um due to everything that was going on um first thing is first um and it goes into emotionally um i whenever there's something that's bad with me going on or that i don't like and i get stressed i start to do something that i call stress eating so I just eat and eat and eat and take it out on myself. That is what I was doing. I was doing that. Um, and not a lot of people knew. There were some people who who really, you know, spoke to me one-on-one. -on -one, like, hey, you know, like, are you okay? Like, what can I do to help? Like, there are only a few people, like one or two people who truly did, you know, um, truly did express that towards me um thank you for that as well um mentally mentally adulthood hit me hard and when i mean adulthood hit me hard it hit me hard like a truck okay like a school bus hit regina george um it hit me hard um because it really showed me that you know life is rough being an adult it's hard you gotta pay bills you gotta, you know, you're not gonna have people to help you. You're gonna do it all on your own. And that's something that I truly, you know, I hadn't gone through that. Um, and it wasn't until it truly hit me when somebody that was really close to me was like, hey, look, this is adulthood. You know, you, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. And <sighs> mentally, um, yeah, so emotionally, Emotionally, I I remember I would cry a lot, and I would cry a lot because it was so hard dealing with adulthood and dealing with the stuff I was just dealing with when it came to family, when it came to friends, when it came to you know to church, to school, to work. Um, you know, between my relationship with my boyfriend, you know, stuff like that. You know, friends from church, stuff like that. You know. Um, and it was hard, you know, and, and I remember I would, I would cry and there would be times people would want to, you know, want me to tell them, Hey, look, like what's going on? You know, um, some people would say that and I didn't want to tell them like, look, um, I'm going through this. Um, it was hard on me and I didn't, and I was like, man, I don't want to, you know, put my burdens on you. Like I'm that type of person. I'll be there for you, you know, for you to, you know spill everything spill the tea and whatnot help um let me help you with your problems type of thing but when it came to me i didn't like when people like you know i didn't like to tell people 
what what was going on with me because I felt like it was I was such a burden and I still feel like that today you know um it's just how I grew up um with everything that was happening when I was little um being bullied and it was it was really hard there were things like I'm gonna go into now that was taken away from me um there were stuff that I would serve in um I'm not gonna touch base on that like you know into detail though but it was taken away um and that goes into spiritually um spiritually I was spiritually drained because of that my relationship with God um I, I could I could tell people like knew knew that you know my my relationship with God it was like you know going like ooh, slowly um and it was it was it was just a point where I, I didn't want to spend time with him I didn't I didn't want to worship I I would go to church yeah don't get me wrong I would go to church but it was more of I would go to church sit down receive then afterwards, I would be like, man, that's a great word and everything. But did I did I apply it to my life? That's the question. Um, and the, to answer that, no, not a lot of the times I didn't. Because, again, I was spiritually drained. There were times I didn't even go to church on Sundays. And people would be like, yo, like, you know, you're, you're all the way up in Miami. But, like, why aren't you at church, though? Um... I would I would go to group I would go to a youth group that I attend to and I I would you know just serve you know but it didn't really occur to some people you know because like I put up a front like hey I'm this way oh my gosh I'm so happy I'm so bubbly I'm I'm so sarcastic I'm sassy <laughs> but at the end of the day I was struggling really hard and you know there are people that could tell but again most people could not tell um yeah I was away because of that um I lost someone in my family that was really near and dear to my heart um it was really hard on me and that really took a toll on me and um and I felt like in that time you know you really need family when it comes to that type of stuff and also friends as well and I really felt like you know my friends weren't there and I'm, I'm gonna straight up tell you right now my friends were not there only a few, but when it came time for like, you know, the day of like the funeral, nobody was there. Only family. Um, so, you know, um, in no way, shape or form am I trying to be like, oh my gosh, like they should have known or like they should have came at me or like I'm mad at them because they didn't pay attention to me no shape or form am i trying to bash them or anything like that i'm not trying to do that so before y'all get it twisted and try to start, start saying it's not like oh she bashing them or oh she doing this or oh ooh, ooh. no um yeah um I, it was hard um it was very hard and there were friendships that were lost and i felt like that needed to happen um i felt like um i lost one of my best friends um and it was it wasn't something that i liked i felt like it was something that could have been resolved beforehand like way back when but no um yeah you know your girl wasn't in the right mindset your girl wasn't you know focused you know and I know to a lot of you guys, I'm like this type of girl that's, you know, confident and everything. But I'm going to sit here right now and tell you, heck yeah, I'm confident. But when it came to this whole span of a year, I did not feel confident at all. Like when it came to certain things, you know, during this time period where I wasn't on YouTube, um, no. But don't get me wrong. There were times that, you know, I was filming a video for you guys. But I felt like it wasn't the best for you guys to see. Um, and I, I felt bad. I really felt bad. Because I'm the type of person, if I'm going to do a video, it's going to be a very spot on, pretty darn good video for y'all. Because that's just how I am. I don't like, you know, giving out something that's crap. 
you know i like giving something that's like you know like a five star cuisine type of meal you get me so i'm trying to put out the best of the best for y'all um not just how i am um so yeah but you know it was it was so much and i just i'm happy that now um now it's all good but there's some there's still some damage like i said that's still there but it just it just takes time for it to you know heal up and some molded together and whatnot um and you guys might be like oh my gosh when did, when did you finally realize that you know everything's all good and it's gonna be okay and that you know it's all over um it was in july it was in July, I went to um, Expedition, which for those who don't know what Expedition is, it's a summer camp that my church has. That's like a three day, you know, weekend type of thing. We go to a campsite and we just, it's like Survivor mixed in with, with church camp. Like, hey, and like running, endurance, all that, all that type of stuff, you know? And, you know, God was telling me like, look, everything's gonna be okay. But you just got to run back to me. I'm the one at the end of the day that's going to mend your heart back together. I'm the one at the end of the day that's going to give you everything that you ever wanted. All those promises that I still have for you, it's right here. But you, you running away doing something else. What you doing though? So he was telling me, run back to me. I'm, I'm, my arms are wide open for you. And that's what, that's seriously what I, I learned. And... That's just what's up, I believe, you know. Um, what else? What else? <laughs> um, a lot of you guys wanted to know if I'm still with my boyfriend. Um, I've gotten so many questions about that. Yes, Dan, when I were still together, dang, Daniel. Um, we're still together. Um, we did. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie and say we've been together for like all this time because now we have not been together all this time um you're only we only broke up for like two weeks and everyone was like oh my gosh what what and some people were like knew no scratch that most people knew some people were like clueless you know clueless 90s reference but yeah um yeah i mean we're together um obviously um if you guys oh my gosh i don't want to spoil stuff right now but all i know is february you're gonna see a vlog um next month you're gonna see story time uh december i'm gonna try to do something a little something something for y'all um I'm trying to do either like a vlogmas or like, you know, um, like what I did um, a few years back um, where I did my Teenage Extreme 15 gives back for the holidays. Um, we're do like different stuff each week. Um, but I do know that next year I'm bringing back um, story times for every week. I'm doing a story time. And I know a lot of you guys really like that and I like that too. So yes. But just expect more to come for this new, you know. This new me. And I am wearing my natural hair. I want to point that out too. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, what? I'm wearing my normal hair. The hair that you guys saw in my last video, that was a wig. You could not tell. It was a wig. Um, your girl's hair, I would never dye my hair that color. Um, although you can tell here is like kind of reddish-ish. Yes, I, I had like someone um, dye my hair. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's that's it for this video. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't answer like most questions, but I did answer that number one question, you know, number one and number two questions that a lot of you guys have been asking me, where have I been, what have I been doing? Um, but more along the lines also for what I've been doing, because um, I know some of them were like, 
That's what I'm sure I told you guys. But what have I been doing? I have been just doing me. I, I guess, I mean, like, there has been stuff. Like, if I can go on my Instagram, like, real quick. Like, you know, yeah. All right, let's see. What have I been doing? I went to Winwood. Oh, snap. I just realized something. Yeah, I went to Winwood. I went to the movies. But I know that. Yeah, I know that about myself. Um, I went to Expedition, like I told you guys. If this thing can work, that would be great. Um, I did a photo challenge. Hmm. I did a photo challenge. And somebody cheated. That's all I'm going to say. But that person lost. But it's whatever. Um, I went to VU. I went to VU conference. And it was pretty good. I loved it. Um, I went to Disney. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I went to Disney. <laughs> I went to Disney. Yeah, like I, I forgot. I went to Disney like twice this year. That's never happened with me. I never went to Disney twice. I want to make it a third time this towards the end, you know. December, but that's not gonna happen. Um, I got a tattoo, like you guys already know. And uh, yo, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Um, this year for my birthday, oh, <laughs> we had a hurricane. What I live in Miami and we had a hurricane, Hurricane Irma. I could tell she was mad. She knocked on my power. But fun fact, during that video with the wig, the last video, that was during Hurricane Irma. Um, that was our first night where I had power. And then afterwards, my power went out. And I was like, man, my power went out. But yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's it. That's it for this video. That's what I've been doing. Um... Next month is my birthday. Turn up 21. What? There will, I will be having a party. Um, which I'm probably gonna, you know, do a little something, something for you guys as well. Part of my story time, which I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But um, if you guys follow my Instagram, if you guys don't, you guys should. My Instagram is at simplyxliberty. That is where I have you guys. Tell me what I should do for my YouTube videos. That's what I did for next month's YouTube video, which will be a birthday story time where I'm trying to incorporate all of my birthdays that I've done, like that I've not done, that I've had. And I'm just going to tell you guys what's up, the tea that happened for each of my birthdays. If I got in trouble, if I was, you know, being like me, like you're going to like, you know, now what's up with little Taylor, little little Taylor, um, and whatnot. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it, and that's it for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this, and you guys are perfect. You guys are amazing. You guys are imperfectly perfect, and I love you guys so much. Always follow your dreams, and um, oh yeah, you guys have a purpose. All right, <gasps> bye.